Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of Big Ol' Gaming with Big Ol' Papa. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of play and review of Warhammer 40,000 Freeblade. Now in the game Freeblade you play an Imperial Knight who's basically lost from his entire family. Now in this game there are a lot of different options available to you. Now you've got all kinds of daily stuff that you can do and pick up. Free supplies. You can send out teams to pick up salvage. And in this game, salvage is basically supplies, weapons, other equipment. Now here in this case, I picked up a rocket launcher. Now, like with a lot of other games that are free on Android, you can watch ads. And it's the same old crap as most of the other games that you can play. Now in this case, you got one of these multi-games that you just do crap with. And I swear to God, if I see any more Raid Shadow Legends, I'm going to flip my lid. But anyways, once you watch these stupid ads, you get more free stuff. In this case, I got a second salvage drop. This time I got some revive tokens. You can get a bunch of different things. You can also spend gold, which you can cast real money on. And you can get various supply drops throughout the game. Green ones, blue ones, and purple ones, you can get free at various times. Otherwise, you can use gold, real cash, to get them. And from these chests, you get stuff like boosts, or to make equipment, or more equipment. Here you can see the gold you can spend to get various supply drops and how many days I have left to wait before I get a free one. The purple one here, I got five days to wait. Now with the legendary ones, the orange ones, you have to pay to get those ones. You can't get free ones. There's also daily rewards. I'll claim my daily rewards right now. What do we get today? I got some loot boost and some ore. Always handy. And you also got valor chests. You get these with multiplayer. So you can play online and you can battle against other players. I usually just go through Google Connect myself. And you can select your opponents. You just pick who you want to fight and you go fight them. Now you can also rescan to change up your opponents. Try and get easier ones. Now you also have events that you can fight in. These are limited time and you just play them and try and get on the scoreboard. You don't often play your own Imperial Knight though. You often play a different Freeblade. That one's mine right there. <laughs> and we'll go into campaigns, and you can see there's various campaigns, missions you can play. I'm already a good portion of the way through the game. I still got a couple more medals to go on a couple levels on this particular campaign, but you can see you select them, and then you select your loadout. You got your various pieces of equipment. I've got some old stuff on my my mech here that I could use but I'm probably just gonna get rid of yeah see I'll get rid of these ones here they're green and I don't have a lot of green on my Imperial Knight anymore now I mostly just have purple orange and blue blue being rare purple being ultra rare super rare whatever you want to call it and of course orange being legendary and you can see the different equipment here that you can forge by going into your forge section of your war gear. I could build myself a new carapace for my armor, but I don't have any unequipped weapons that I can use to build. So I'm just going to have to skip for now. You can also upgrade all your equipment and your weapons as well. Now in this case, that costs you a lot of ore. So, looking at what I've got available here, 
I'm not going to be able to upgrade much right now because it's more than I have. However, looks like the shields can get an upgrade. So there we go. Now this game also has special missions called Patrols, and it's basically just another quick little mission that isn't directly on the storyline that refresh so you can play slightly different ones with uh, some regularity. Now this game is interesting in that you have a lot of different customization options available to you by clicking on your knight in your first screen. And you'll have painting, war gear, and so forth. And when you click on painting, that gives you the options to change the livery on your Imperial Knight. There's the Aqua. And you can see the various colors that you can change your knight. A lot of the colors you can either buy with ore or with your gold, but just using what I've got, I like my gray and my blacks. You can also change the different patterns on like your shoulders and your head and stuff, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it the way I like it. And you can also take snapshots of your night. And then save them to your phone, send them to your friends. They're pretty cool. I'm actually thinking about starting an actual Imperial Knights army or force in the actual tabletop game myself. And I'll save this picture to my phone. Alright. Now getting back into campaign mode here. Get going here. Play a little bit of a campaign. Alright, I'm going to deploy. I'm happy with my loadout. Now, another option where you can watch those, those ads comes up right here. I've already got a couple of boosts, but if I wanted more boosts, I can click the Get Free Blessing and watch some ads. You can do up to two. Now, I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to jump right into it. And we'll play a little bit here. Now, unfortunately, you don't have control of the camera. You have, just have to go with the camera. And sometimes it makes it a little more difficult to catch up with enemies that are behind you or have gotten past you quickly. That said, it is kind of neat that you can blow practically everything on the screen up. Some of the more harder stuff, like buildings, you can't. But, like, pipes and barricades and statues and lights. And, even if you miss shooting some of the infantry, you can actually step on them and still get counts for kills. Now, my particular livery on my knight is a lightning cannon, a graviton gun, missile launcher, and of course, my chainsword. Alright, here we go. That was my graviton gun, the green bloom. Very effective. My favorite game, or sorry, my favorite gun in the whole game. Wait, what's going on? Got a little too close to him and he wanted to fight, so I fought and, you know, ended him. The Emperor protects. That there was my lightning cannon. It's great for entry and it's pretty good on heavier armor and tanks and stuff as well. Yeah, sometimes you come around the corners and just stuff right in front of you waiting for you and it's hard to keep up sometimes. But, in general, the game moves along pretty well. If you haven't already been able to tell, yeah, it is mobile. <laughs> now, in this particular mission, I'm going up against the orcs. However, you do get to go up against the forces of chaos at times.
Now, overall, I find the graphics to be pretty good. You know, like the shadowing and, you know, the look of your Imperial Knight as you go on. Oh, I'm coming up against another uh, uh, Dreadnought. And I'm going to get him in hand-to-hand -hand combat here. Now, it's all about tapping the screen with hand-to-hand -hand combat and timing. You get that timing just right? There you go. So yeah, I love the graphics. I love the effects on your knight as you get damaged or as you go. Music, eh, it's not bad. Sound effects and voiceovers are really good. Controls, I have to give the controls a little bit of a fail. If you get too close to the edge of your screen, then they just don't work as well. Now, here's some of the different options for weapons and equipment you have. All your typical stuff from Warhammer 40,000, like the Graviton Gun, the Battle Cannon, Stubber, Melta Gun, everybody's favorite. And you got rocket launchers and missile launchers too. The Auto Cannon, of course, and the Chain Sword. Who doesn't love a Chain Sword? Now you got your various equipment for your knight, your shields, your armor. Shields are very important in this game. So I like to upgrade them as soon as possible. Anyways, I would give this game probably a 7.5 out of 10. It loses marks on the lack of control for the camera, and loses marks for lack of control on the screen when you're trying to shoot stuff. Well, there you have it, folks. There's my little bit of a playthrough and review of Warhammer 40,000's Freeblade, available on Android. If you're a Warhammer 40,000 fan, or you're just looking for something different, I highly recommend downloading it and giving it a try. Don't forget to smash that sub button, tap the like button, and ding the bell. You want to know when I post more vids. Always that plus job. Thanks again, everybody. Stay tuned for future videos. Big ol' Papa, signing off. Time to...